Hey guys, I'm Ryan Wright. I'm Shalina Myers. Very appropriate, I love it. <laughs> Shalina, brand new to the channel, I asked her to come on. I'm gonna be performing at an event called Color My Energy, so if you guys are California based, definitely come out. You're the project director, you help create the event, yeah. but she like hosts them too, <laughs> so. Yeah, you do. You do a lot. I do. And so I, I wanted to bring her by. We're going to be reviewing the video today called Troll by Shane Koizan. Koizan. Yeah. yeah. Oh, but you haven't seen the first one. I saw the other one to this day. You haven't seen it yet, have you? No. Okay. Let me show, it to you. show me that one real fast. So that made me cry again. <laughs> Ooh, I feel things. I'm probably gonna get emotional again for the, if it's anything like yeah. the last one. I'm telling you, he's a very moving poet. There's pain, but there's like, there's so much more. It's yeah. not so depressing because like there's. It's light and dark. Yes. Yeah. It, it's it's all it's all there's the colors. Light at the end of the tunnel. Yeah. Ryan. I I believe that I I do. <sighs> all right, let I'm ready to feel things again. Ridges for ribs that dropped off into empty chests as if your hearts were all stolen treasures. As if an excavation crew were hired to dig up and remove the part of you that let you feel. And while the world above you invented the wheel, you stayed put. Knowing it would one day need to roll over top of you to get to where it's going. You had an endlessly flowing supply line of food. You began to brood over humanity and made meals of our hope, as if crushing our spirits would make your mirrors cast better reflections than the ones they gave, as if the only way you could save yourselves was to make the world ugly so no one would notice you hiding in it. You learned to knit pain into a kind of camouflage, treated hope like a mirage that you could use to lure in your next meal. You lived off of our fears if you could taste what we feel. Every night, as the moon read bedtime stories to sunlight, you took darkness as an invite to head out into the world. You curled your hands into wrecking balls. Your breath became squalls. You made rocks rumble. You made land shiver. You made boys and girls pray that someone would deliver them from you. We told them you weren't real. And then one day, stayed the same, just migrated from living underneath bridges to living underneath information superhighways. Days and nights became meaningless, each already deepened chest became an abyss that no one would ever find the bottom of. Concepts like love fell into your gravity. We turned ourselves into life preservers hoping to save as many as we could, but the fathers who stood guarding closet doors and the mothers who secured the floors underneath beds all shook their heads not knowing how to deal with you. Who crept into our lives with tongues like knives stabbing your words into our skin. You began to begin uploading yourselves into our homes. You had computer screens for eyes and software for bones. You turned your hate into stones and hurled them at beauty as if you couldn't bear to see anything other than ugly, anything different. You had fingernails like flint and scraped them along decency, hoping we would be the ones to all catch fire. You all had smiles like one-way barbed wire, not meant to keep us out. Meant to keep us in. Voice like a firing pin, you spoke in explosions. It isn't cute. Cheered on, rape, dashed 
searched through police tape as if it were the finish line in a race of who can be awful first. Even now, you somehow see this as an invitation to turn your keyboards into catapults, wondering which one of you can be the first to hate this best. You're loathing, already dressed in riot gear, ready to incite rage, as if each message board is a stage where you recite hostility, turning freedom of speech into freedom of truth. We are stuck with you, the same way you are stuck with you. Your mind is glue and it keeps malice fastened there like cheap wallpaper. We were once upon a time told that none of you exist. We dismissed you as make-believe or myth now, armed only with resolve. We can no longer afford to tell ourselves you aren't real. We will not let you make your dinners out of the things we feel. I just gotta say, like, right up front, I've been more vulnerable lately, and that shit is so hard. Like, I don't know why, but if, if, if a camera is pointed at you, you don't want to kind of cry but then that makes you want to cry more (laughs) you want to cry together i I, uh, well now i feel like i'd be forcing tears if i if i did it because because i've already put up my wall towards (laughs) the tears it's okay to cry it's okay i i do believe that actually i've cried many times on this channel before we go into the poem i just want to say like the animation and the music is beautiful i find myself like sometimes not looking at the subtitle because yeah. i'm just like you pulled into the animation yeah i tried to be in both because i'm like trying to i know you're right listen. you're trying to really get <gasps> but it but i want to listen to like, i want to watch it again <laughs> like maybe two times to fully understand it no it's it's something that you can really go into detail yeah. about and really break down i love his use of metaphors yeah how he starts off from like the troll's perspective and uh, how he's doing like a fairy tale but then it turns the whole heart being picked up by a construction crew hidden treasure your heart as hidden treasure it's like he turns these metaphors and at the same time he makes things literal you know like phrases and sayings the whole concept of eating your hope like that's what you're fueling yourself with the concept of that is just like <laughs> and he says like you make yourself ugly so no one would notice you hiding in it in this world i'm one of those people who holy shit Okay, I'm not gonna cry. Right. Yeah. You know, and I'm one of those people who does believe at the end of the day, you do create your own world. Right. I'm not saying like you die and inherit your own world, oh. but if you believe that, that's good for you. I, I right. you believe whatever you want. <laughs> that's basically what I'm trying to say. For me, I do believe we create our own world just by the power of our thoughts and emotions. He's like saying like the world is beautiful, but you're the one who's making your world ugly. Right. By holding on to these things. Yeah, time in my life, like a poem like this, like really resonated with me because I was like, I felt feelings like this before, but like the feeling of hiding in myself and not shining any of my light. This is like the exact opposite, like, or what am I trying to say? (laughs) (laughs) It's so deep. He breaks down the, like I've always heard so much and studied so much about the emotional process from like a logical point of view. It's like you use your pain as camouflage to lure in your next meal. Right. I mean, it makes you think about so much. What exactly he's referring to, I'm not exactly sure. Is probably referring to a lot of things, but for me, I think about we sometimes hold on to so much pain that it causes us to be unintentional manipulators and situations. Yeah, that's you so know? true. Like you could suck energy from someone. Like if you're in a low vibrational state and you're hiding, that's yeah. this is how I I see it. When you're in that camouflage and you're just like hiding from your hiding your light. Yeah. Like I feel like you are subconsciously absorbing people's energy. Absolutely. You need it. You need it. Absolutely. That's what, that's what I, how I see that. But that's just my no, yeah, interpretation. It's probably both. <laughs> yeah, it could be anything. Yeah. That's what art is. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I love art. When he says you are not real, like you fled into a different part. To me, I'm, I'm thinking you become something and then sometimes that pain causes you to escape and like go someplace else. But then when you go there, you know, it's like you're hoping to create a new identity through what others see about you. Yeah. Holy shit, I am so intellectual sometimes. You are. <laughs> impressed by your brain. Like, I'm thinking of that prayer. Like, deliver us from evil. evil. yeah. Deliver us from you. But he says, you are not real. That's what I mean by deliver us from you. Who we want you to be 
and, and view you as is not who you really are in a way. Like, because some people will create such a different identity. Mm, okay, then that makes sense. What I really get from this poem is that we have basically all built a world around us to shield to shield us from the nature of ourselves. Yeah. And one could argue that like, like I feel like, well, it's actually pretty incredible how we are now compared to right. how we were a long time ago. Right, yeah. <laughs> but there's also a part of us that has sort of made other things so much more important than love. And so he says like love became gravity. Almost like Shut it's it insignificant anymore. It's not valuable. I, at that time, I thought he was going to shift the poem to be like, and then everything was magical. We <laughs> yeah. loved each other. That's how I thought it was going to transition. But I don't watch a lot of videos like this because most of the, like, the poetry I listen to has been like solutions, you mm -hmm. know? And But I do appreciate hearing stuff like this because it's a beautiful piece and What's... and it does give a different side of the story. Like the future, this might be like the future, like where he's transi transitioning to. I feel like he starts off from the nature of our roots. Yeah. And then like seeing where the world sort of advanced into and how this has all become a distraction from just loving everything. Like it's kind of reminding me of like when people say they put so much focus on materialistic things. You know, you weren't living under bridges anymore and I are living under highways where the world is just going so fast, fast. now, you know, yeah. like you think about how it was only a couple hundred years ago where to go from like New York to California took fucking forever. And now yeah. we do it in like four to six hours. So with everything so fast and you think about like the kids, the kids with cell phones. <laughs> <laughs> Rascals. <laughs> yeah. Like I was thinking about, I'm like, I'm never going to give my kid a cell phone. Not until like he's a lot older because that brain, it's a processing brain. So it's just brrr, like absorbing everything. Yeah. So you set such a high caliber of like stimuli. You can't focus on being in the moment. <laughs> We're so deep right now. So deep. <laughs> so deep. Things are getting so deep. When he's talking about that part where like the parents not knowing how to handle you, mm -hmm. like take care of you. When you think about like psychology in a lot of ways, it's like everyone usually goes that it links back to their parents in some fashion. You know, like yeah. the way how we have become whatever we hold on to that's kind of dark in us. I imagine like he's talking about the time and like when parents just were so against like when being a man meant don't feel your feelings. Right. You know? Yeah, I didn't even think of it like that, but yeah, that makes sense. Because they would have tried to make women behave a certain way and they try to make men behave a certain way. Mm -hmm. It was like, now we're in a day and age where it's more about, like, especially in California, about like, be unique. But there was a time where everyone was just about like, block this off who standard. you are. But even today, parents still fuck up sometimes. <laughs> so, you know. <laughs> but I'm gonna be a perfect parent. I wanna establish that up front. I'm not gonna make a single mistake. I have done my homework. I don't think that's possible. It's possible. It's possible. Thing. If it's a boy, I'm gonna call him Ryan. Okay. If it's a girl, Rainita. Wow. Yeah. Uh... Yeah. <laughs> a lot of dads don't like their daughters like having sex. I'm gonna encourage it. Yeah. No. I was like, no. Are you uh, out of your fucking mind, Shalina? He, when he's talking about that part about the barbed wire, I think about how we are so emotional that we will block off feelings that we are too afraid to deal with. And so we're trying to create that wall to block it off. Right. But what you're doing is really caging in that feeling. Yeah. Some yeah, that makes shit sense. Right that is super deep. <laughs> like you're prisoning your joy and everything, all the things that make you human. Yeah. Because that's what a smile does. Like you so many reactions and like emotions come from your facial expressions. Exactly. He said like there was an explosion of everything, yeah. you, ca of everything you, you caged in. Yeah. That's what I mean. It's like when you don't deal with things, it's like sometimes the trauma will just overtake you because the trauma overtakes you. And I mean that when the person just explodes all of a sudden. Right. Yeah. If you bottle that up, it's like bound to just pop. Like, yeah, any moment. exactly. Like a baby. Like a baby or like a soda that you shake up. And when you open it up, it explodes. <laughs> That's my poetic metaphor. Yeah. <laughs> I had a beautiful life being that you turned into soda. And he says like each family gives grafts to, to those you hurt. I'm thinking about how and he says like you become it instead. I'm thinking about how like when we like hurt someone and we can't just realize we're human and we made a mistake, we don't forgive ourselves for what we did. So we wow. hold on to that hurt and, and it becomes a scar. Wow. Like, yeah. Yeah. I like that. I like that too. It's fucking brilliant. Wow. I like the way you were thinking about this because like... Oh, it's beautiful. It is very beautiful, but like somebody else might not think the way that you just thought. I know. That's, That's why I'm Ryan Wright. 
<laughs> I'm glad we can always keep the tone of the video consistent. <laughs> At one point he was talking about how you go into booze, drugs, popping pills because... You haven't been able to find help. You haven't been able to find help yet. And <sighs> because of that, it, it just makes you think about how so many people are so afraid to ask for help that yeah. they will hold on to, like, they start doing they forms of escape. shame. Shame is such a powerful emotion and, and vibration. Exactly. They're not acting on something, so they're acting out something subconscious now. You have to act on the fact that you have, yeah. to, you have to look for help. You have to be a little bit vulnerable now. But then they're acting out instead through these like forms of escapism. I just want to hug anyone that feels these things. I just want to hug you. I want to hug everyone in the world. I want to have a giant orgy with all you guys. No, a we're not getting orgy. sexual here. It's not the time. It's the perfect time. I want to love everyone in a non-sexual way. And I want us all to see us have sex with each other. Ryan! When he's talking about there's the police lines and do not cross and then you dash through it as if you were the first the one first, to, yeah. to win the race. The first race. <laughs> the first <laughs> one to win the race. To being like awful and stuff. It hurts my feelings. I know. I know. Like, oh, oh what it's such a uh, dark place. You don't need therapy. You just need this guy to remind you of all your shit that you got going on. <laughs> At one point he's talking about the first to hate is best. If you think about most people, and this might be just because of like, now that I'm different, I attract different people into my life. I think that a large part of the world is so much better at talking about things they don't like than talking about positive things. Like the people who escape from their problems. Right. They get focused on other problems. Well, when you're, when you are in that energy, when you're in that like low vibrational, like depressed, sad, mad rage, all those like feelings, you attract those things into your mm -hmm. life. Like, yeah, you just like, it'll just surround you because that's what you're a mirror. You're like a magnet for anything that you- Exactly. Whatever vibrational level you're at. That freedom of speech mm. turning into freedom of cruelty line it's just badass. <laughs> that is, it is badass. It's, not gonna lie. I'm like, holy Dang, shit. That's he a, went there though? That's a quote. Like, that's a perfect quote. You can get but that tattoo. Well, I don't, don't know. If get like, don't get that don't tattoo. Do that. That's a horrible idea. It's not a good idea. <laughs> oh, freedom to be a mean jerk all yeah. the time. I want the freedom to love. I know. What I want to make like the opposite of this poem. He's using this, these trolls as a metaphor for like a lot of dark in you, right? Yeah. And he's saying we're stuck with you the way you are, you are stuck with you. Yeah, you're stuck in your own prison. Like, exactly. Everyone is in the prison, but you're stuck in that prison inside. Exactly. Oh. Ah, By the time the poem up. ends, I really do think that it, it really is about you gotta be willing to endure the emotional process because I feel like that's the message yeah. at least. Because like, especially on the animation, it doesn't say it in the, in the poetry, but in the animation it says user blocked. Like to me it's a symbolism for like, by actually blocking your emotions, you're going to create a world that is actually worse, that's hurting you, than actually facing it. I don't wanna say dealing, because that sounds like, just deal with it, you know what I mean? Like taking the time to face <sighs> it, which can be really hard yeah, and it can be it time is, consuming. It's a painful, journey definitely but it's so worth it to like really allow like yourself to like be that highest self like do you know yeah. think anything about chakras mm -mm. chakras are your energy centers and they're the seven energy centers. oh yeah 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 when you block certain chakras then you, it affects like things in your life and like there's like the throat chakra which helps you like express yourself if that's blocked that means like your heart like all your other chakras aren't gonna work like how important it is to release and like let go of things that don't serve you. Like one form of suppression leads to other forms of suppression. It just continues. I see this like all as like everything you go through in your life is like you have to see it as a lesson like and exactly. like or and a blessing, a blessing and a lesson because you, you can learn from everything. There's this book I read that I love, Conversations with God. If you guys haven't read it, it it's it just Check it out. It's not a religious book at all. If you're atheist and you don't care, then that's, that's fine. My beliefs are we're all going to the same place, so <laughs> I don't care what you believe because you're going to end up where I am in a few years. You'll probably die first. You're an atheist. <laughs> That's fucked up, I'm sorry. <laughs> Comical relief. Comical relief. In this depressing <laughs> yeah. poem, but beautiful poem. The conversations with God, it taught me that 
every experience is truly necessary. It said that in order to understand anything, you have to also understand its opposite. It's like simple stuff like right. in order to really understand happiness, you gotta know what it's like to be right. fucking depressed. The balance. <laughs> yeah. yeah, exactly. And because a lot of people think so black and white with their emotions, they don't realize that there's such a gray with your emotions that it's okay, sometimes you're gonna feel happy, sometimes yeah, you're gonna feel sad, sometimes exactly. you're gonna feel angry, but it it's like okay. being honest with your feelings at the end of the day. I think what makes character is not your feelings necessarily. Like people judge their feelings too much. Your feelings are your feelings. I feel like the decisions and the and the life choices you make that what you act upon based off those feelings. The power is in the decision on what to do with that. Exactly. I was just thinking when you said that, like I just realized that I like I have a, a lot of people in my life, but the people that I know that are the happiest people that have found like, you know, peace with themselves mm -hmm. are the people that had have had the craziest fucking lives like yeah. you know they've gone through some really 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 hard dark dark low low times and now these people know what it is to feel ha like happiness Joy. and bliss and yeah. pure genuine authentic love and they know how to nurture it too because they've had yeah. to learn how to nurture it. That's what I mean, you go through extreme pain if you know how to act upon it later on in your life. At the end of the day, you just gotta make a choice. <laughs> yeah, know? it is. Like if you're young and this is happening, I totally get it. But if you're like an adult, <laughs> like be an adult. Basically, if you go through extremity of pain, you're right. gonna feel extremity of happiness. Right, because so you, know, you know the difference. Yeah, yeah exactly. You, the you level could appreciate of... it so much more. And I feel like people also look at subjects as black and white too. Like I should feel this way about it or I should mm -hmm. feel this way rather than going, you know, I could have two feelings that coexist and right, I feel exactly. both. <laughs> you be open-minded, like just the, making the decision to be open-minded and knowing that there are solutions and if you, it's up to you. For all the people that, you know, really resonate with like a video like this are feeling sad at this moment, like just know that you are so powerful. If you make the decision, like I am going to be a happy person and live the life of my dreams, then you will be that person, but you have to believe that, like with yeah. all of your heart. I for like this video. <laughs> this is a good oh, yeah. video. Right? This is a good video. Oh, I got this some is, tears, this got is, some like This is different. Illusions. This is different. You know, it's yeah. not just dick jokes this time. No dick jokes. No dick jokes. <laughs> not gonna mention the dick in this video. And I'm a living example, like, you know, I've gone through some really, really hard times, but like when I made that decision to be happy and like to do what I want, create my own reality, my whole life changed when I made that decision. Yeah. My entire life. I heard this from Jim Rohn. He said, what may have happened to you now may not be entirely your fault, mm -hmm. but That's from so now true. on, it is your responsibility. High five, thanks for sharing that quote. Yeah, thank you. It's great quote. Well, look, different side of Ryan right here. Whoa, Ryan Steve, who knew? Who, who would have thought? Who would have known? Who would have thought? <laughs> <laughs> anyway guys, we're gonna finally wrap this video up. If you're new to the channel, you can subscribe to The Real Rejects, where, I'm not gonna lie, it's usually not this deep. <laughs> and Shalina uh, is host of this awesome, I'm not just saying that because she's here, she's here because of how much I love this event. Yay! Um, color My Energy. Uh, if you're in California, you gotta come out February 7th, 6th? February 7th. February 7th. Yes. I'm gonna be performing too. You're gonna see more of the deep side in me. Yes! Ah, oh, come and out, we have a whole... I'm not done promoting <laughs> oh, you. <laughs> sorry. And, to take the mic. And Veronica is going to be performing there too. My wonderful, hot girlfriend, baby. If beautiful. you're watching, you are goddess. so hot. You're just a beautiful goddess. You are hot. You're a beautiful goddess. On Veronica's channel, she has a vlog of it. I actually um, recorded it for her, so I'm in the video too. Uh, you should really check it out. It's an awesome Color My Energy event. They even have a fucking fire show. It's crazy. What I will say about it is every event I go to, of like me, I even went to one last night. Mm -hmm. Every music event I go to, I'm like most of the time wishing I wasn't there. <laughs> that was the first event I went to where I was like, oh my God, I love this Yay! whole environment. I love the performers. <laughs> this is awesome. I asked to perform there. And mm -hmm. so you'll get to hear some of my spoken word rhythmic poetry, I'm otherwise excited. rap. I put, I put magic flowetry. Is that what you put yeah. for my category? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it's like five bucks, but it goes for like nine fucking hours or something. Twelve hours. Twelve hours. Yes. And it's 
awesome. It's, it's I, you literally w will want to stay till the end. I wanted to say that also there is a whole healing realm in this event with lots of Reiki healing, massage therapy, hypnosis, acupuncture, divine readings, all kinds of amazing things that you might have never been introduced to. So if you are, if you feel any of the feelings that this video has, like, and you want, if you need some healing, like this is a, the event for you. Other than how fun and amazing the performers are, there's a whole healing realm for you. You could have like a spa day for like your soul. A soul spa day. How yeah, deep is that? That is deep. I'm going to name it that now. Yeah. I'm excited. Because we're on camera, <laughs> we mock how deep we are. I'm so, like, I have great <laughs> ideas when I'm on camera. I think I should be on camera all the time. Yeah. <laughs> Me on camera all the time! So thank you guys for watching. Go to facebook.com slash the real reject yeah. shoutouts. Earn yourself a shout out. Peace and love. Peace and love. <laughs> Gandhi and Yoda. <laughs>